pop and y'all it's your girl cheryl welcome back to this week's video first things first um i went skiing for valentine's day with some of my friends and uh your girl is incredibly sore just like top to bottom my neck my back <laughs> you know the rest of the lyrics if i'm seeming a little bit like slow <laughs> because i am struggling to to will the idea of changing out of like eight or nine or ten outfits. Anyways, for this week's video, I thought it'd be super fun to try and dress like some of the fashion YouTubers that I've watched over the years that are really popular right now because a lot of them have a style that's super different from how I dress. These are just the ones that I watch the most or that I've heard of. If you guys have your favorite fashion YouTubers, leave a comment below. Yeah, let's just get straight into it. I'm really not looking forward to changing 18 million times today. Let's get it. Pull the lever, Kronk! Yay, corn! First up is our girl, Emma Chamberlain, the it girl of our times, the LA icon, the skinny legend. Uh, she can wear pretty much anything, but she really enjoys wearing things that are a little more out there, vintage, almost ugly, but not because it's her. So I decided to pair these straight leg white high rise jeans with a cropped colored shirt because I don't think I've ever seen her wear something that isn't cropped and then put an interesting jacket and uh, sunglasses to kind of tie that maroon burgundy look all together. I don't know how to talk about outfits. She doesn't either. So we're basically the same person. Next. <laughs> lovely people the second one is best dressed aka ashley she is a big fan of the juxtaposition of masculine and feminine pieces um but is also basically known as that picnic bitch i have not worn clothes like this i really don't tend to lean towards things this girly but i was surprised by how much i actually liked how it looked i paired this gold silk button down with a green ruched mini dress on top and paired it with some nude heels to kind of elongate my legs and this really cute pale blue purse. This screams, you know, royal picnic bitch. Like you're going on a picnic, but you're accompanied by your six hot attractive butlers and popping a bottle of Moe and eating French cheese. Anyways. This is our girl Lin Chulon. I actually haven't watched her that much, but Based on what I've seen, she really loves layering and pops of color and very like earthy tones and mixing patterns and shit, which I think is really cool. So this is an outfit that I never would have thought to put together if I didn't take from the outfits that she wears. I wore this long maxi daisy skirt with a forest green long sleeve top and then put a white corset on top and put a blazer on top of that. So all about that layering baby looking like a classy sophisticated high-end librarian i guess um i think lynn is super cute and i think this outfit is even cuter hey guys it's katie welcome back to steal the spotlight i am not katie i am not australian i'm also not white but Katie has a really cool sense of style that is very inspired by what's popular in K-pop or um, if any of you watch Death Note, none other than our favorite Misa. Or I think more so of the time she's wearing these really bright, color blocked, vibrant patterns. Um, and so I tried to emulate that as much as I could. I don't really own a lot of very bright colors, but I decided to opt for this lime green mock neck champion sweatshirt with a Lakers looking sweater vest on top with Bermuda <laughs> black shorts. Paired with some athletic socks and platform shoes and then accessorized with some yellow sunnies and a white bag to tie the whole look together. Super cute. Don't know if I'm going to wear it all the time because I like to wear clothing that are as black as my soul. Moving on. Nava Rose, my daddy, TikTok queen, this girl is the style that if I were to be a K-pop star, I would want to wear her shit all the damn time. Um, she is known for her edgy, baddie, itty bitty titty committee president type of looks. So I wanted to emulate that as much as possible. I'm kind of shocked 
or maybe not how many clothes I had that fit this vibe but I decided to go a little bit more crazy than I usually do so I wore a black mesh top underneath and put a one shoulder long sleeve top on top for a black a silver zip up skirt with some thigh high boots for that sexy feel and then put on a ton of different silver hardware um, I wore a harness, I wore a grommet belt with a silver chain, silver jewelry, silver earrings I really committed to the whole um, goth girlfriend bit um, Cope's husband if you're out there hit me up <laughs> Got them holes in the kitchen. Hey you, it's Katie U. Um, this is inspired by Katie U, as most of my YouTube videos are. Um, she is into the classic wide leg pants, Peter Pan collar over the sweatshirt kind of look. Um, something that I used to wear in middle school, but I know is coming back now and looks super good on other people. I decided to opt for these wide distressed white pants um, with a black crew neck and for a pop of color put a green colored shirt underneath. This is all about comfort as well as looking cute and uh, kind of feeling that uh, brown vibes as if I'm going to be a Rizzy student but we all know that's not happening. channel um this is the outfit i made inspired by coco beauty i think i first saw her on tiktok but she is the epitome of london chic uh classy sophisticated perfect for cold weather type of gal um she looks way more put together than i will ever look in my entire goddamn life but i decided to try and emulate her energy with this long camel trench coat um these loose comfortable mango black pants a neutral kind of cool blue chunky sweater and then paired it off with this bright orange bag to kind of tie in the whole look this is what i wear would wear if i lived in london and had my life together but i don't so hello pretty people of the internet this outfit is inspired by jazzy la she has a really unique sense of style that again is super different from mine she's really into the oversized t-shirts long skirts really funky patterns and kind of like retro things that were popular circa 2003 but she pulls them off extremely well i don't own anything like that so i tried to emulate this look using an oversized black t-shirt and then um putting a cheetah print maxi skirt underneath and kind of letting that whole baggy feel exist i decided to wear some uh, athletic socks and some chunky filas she's somebody who also loves wearing extreme amounts of accessories kind of all kinds not just your classic gold and silver so i put on as many as i owned tied the whole look together with these cute little space ponytails is that what they're called maybe uh, maybe one day i'll get back into a uh, rhinestone covered t-shirts but today is not the day where you at in the night I try to hit your line, but still you don't reply, yeah, yeah I don't wanna hear no lies I just wanna hear your voice, no more hiding in disguise, yeah, yeah Tell me where you gotta go, yeah Tell me why you never call me back I know you always on your phone, yeah So tell me why you never call me back Hey guys, it's Yu Yen 
This look is inspired by our girl Yuyan. Um, she is definitely more into the sophisticated kind of New Yorker vibes with the puffer jacket, the straight leg pants, all neutral colors and kind of like the earthy brown. This is definitely one of the more comfortable, or I guess one of the looks that are more similar to what I would wear. Could be a great look for, you know, a date on a walk in the park in New York. Not that I'm doing any of that right now. <laughs> Hello my friends, it's Nina. This is uh, one of my favorite YouTubers in kind of like the cool, calm, comfortable realm is none other than Ono oh Nina. She is definitely the most casual of the YouTubers that I've tried today. I really into just like comfortable sweatpants, a classic black t-shirt, not too much color going on, but... And also one that you can just wear and sit on your bed all day as if that's not what I'm doing exactly right now. <laughs> I decided to go for some ripped, super casual blue jeans, um, and then I tied a knot, a thought knot, I guess, uh, in this black t-shirt, and topped it with a white and black flannel, and uh, a classic dad hat, and, and a matching fanny pack for the cool dad kind of look. Like, this is the dad that is definitely gonna pull some dad jokes, but you don't wanna, you know, slap them in the face after they say it. <laughs>